Bienvenidos a España. We are having a competition. But who can roll their R's the longest? Ready? One, One two, two, three. And guys, remember on the left, the symbol, the emblem of Madrid. And you can see the people from the different continents, and they are all reading the same book, Don Quixote de la Mancha, that has been translated to many languages. We are at a palace in Madrid. The palace is beautiful, oh. and inside was really interesting. But his name, he's known as El Greco throughout the world in the art world. You'll see some of his masterpieces here. The Museo Nacional de Prado. Gaudi made in Barcelona and he couldn't finish it in his lifetime because he died in 1926. Sagrada Familia, something really incredible and hard to believe. The houses here correspond to eight apostles. I love the detail on the outside. I think I wanna, would want to come back like when I'm an adult um, to see the, the finished product of yeah. Gaudi's church, definitely. And they were saying there was going to be, the biggest tower would be 450 feet high, which is like the, I was thinking the dragster, like at Cedar Point. Like trying to imagine that in like tower form. Like. And then we got to see um, La, ca la Casa Mia. Mia. It sort of looks like skeleton bones on, stacked on top of each other. It has a lot of curvilinear <laughs> shapes on it, and there's ornamentation that's lots of different colors, which you don't usually see in Barcelona. And it's for the a family that was house built. Yeah, a house. It's really cool. And Mr. Mila was an exception. So he meant duty to build a house for his family. So the whole world would see how rich that Mila family was. They're just really hard to open, <laughs> but no, I like them. Tastes like fresh from the sea. <laughs> Buenas tardes, Arracha Aldeón. Well, this is the Basque Country, San Sebastian. So the old town, we are going now into the old town. You get to see something that's different than looking at it uh, from copy and pasted from Google on a PowerPoint. It's like the real deal, and it's right in front of you. Going to the Google. <laughs> Go to the Guggenheim and see that. <laughs> I think the Guggenheim was probably the most interesting because it was modern art, which kind of like stretched my interpretation of what art is. Well, I never meant to say. <laughs> The Alhambra. Are you ready? Yeah. See? Ready. We're in La ha Alhambra. La Alhambra. Really? Spanish. Yeah. 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 Cool thing we've seen in Spain so far was definitely the Alhambra. It was so different from castles and palaces we've seen in other places of the world. It was like so simple on the outside, but on the inside, like there was so much detail and like intricate work on the walls, and it was really, really neat. We've seen castles and palaces and everything you would want to see in a city in just a really short amount of time. Well, for one, it's taught me to be more interested in history. When I go to back to school in the fall, I'll be able to pull from my actual experience. I love the slow mentality of like the, you know, the Spanish people. Everything's relaxed and chill. Like back in the USA, everything, everybody's rushing around all the time. And here they're just like, no, take it easy. I learned that I actually speak more Spanish than I thought I did. I have a better vocabulary than I thought. Me encanta España. Es muy bonito. 